Greetings once again. Today I've got uh, the unboxing of some Kidrobot Dunny Art of War figurines. Um, these were on sale at Loot Crate's website. I think they were like three bucks each, so I figured, what the hell, grab ten. Uh, so I've not actually done any of these sort of um, mystery figurine type boxes before. So this is a first for me, as well as a first for an unboxing video of mine. Uh, so let's get stuck in. Now, I'm a bit of a fan of knives and swords, purely for decorational purposes only. So today I'm going to be using my biohazard knife. Uh, I think I'm fairly sure I bought this off eBay. Anyway, it's a nice little utility knife. So, let's get started. First box. Try not to cut myself while we're at it. It's the point of having tape and glue. Bloody hell. Alrighty. Here we have the first one. There we have it. <laughs> cool. Uh, Hatcher Gapoa? I don't know. I don't speak Russian. That looks pretty damn funny though. Yeah, cool. Alrighty. Box number two. Sword. Okay, so this one's a geek. Interesting. Looks pretty cool though. Geek Force. Mm. And then he has a lightsaber. That is pretty awesome. Sweet, this guy's got a little mask and a sword. I don't entirely know what he's supposed to be. Some sort of futuristic samurai warrior? I don't know. Anyway. Box number four. That didn't work. Oh, awesome. A double up. Number five. I'm not exactly sure what he is, but, um, or she? I don't know. 
Looks like a cross between, again, a samurai and a knight. Number six. Interesting. A little biker that for some reason looks a bit loose luchadorish. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Number seven. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you'd call it a tribute or a parody to the uh, that guy that stood up to the tanks in Tiananmen Square. Yeah, this. I'm not sure whether to feel like this is racial undertones or what. But uh, anyway, fair enough. Number eight. Oh, that is pretty damn cool. Jeez. It's like a universal soldier and a uh, bomber plane thrown into one. Cool. Number nine. Oh, that is awesome. It's like a Grim Reaper type character. It even has a scythe. Awesome. And finally, number ten. Um, okay then. So he's supposed to sit upside down with his head buried. Fair enough, that's, that's pretty cool. And there we have it. All of the kid robots that I got with today.
you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Cheers.